All right, so here we have the Heathkit model HW5400 uh, HF transceiver covering 10 through 80 meters. As you can see right there, it does cover the work bands. Uh, these are really cool rigs. Uh, just before my time getting into ham radio, you could buy these in kit form and uh, just uh, an amazing uh, transceiver. <laughs> I bet it would take a long time to put together. Uh, but uh, in any case, I'm going to show you it's receiving. I uh, just uh, hooked it up. And so. So, um, let's see, it is receiving. There's a. This is prayer just to the net starting here. This thing has a. A built-in clock. I haven't set it. That's probably why that's flashing over there. But I've had this thing uh, turned on for 13 minutes. <laughs> so it does show you that. It does have also this one has the optional. I'm turn this down just a bit. The optional keypad accessory unit, which is there's the manual for it here. And I have all of the manuals, including I mean, there's a stack of them <laughs> with the schematics and everything for the transceiver, the options that are in there, which for sure has the keypad. Um, and then this is the uh, HW50, HWA5400-1 speaker power supply. And, you know, they're not perfect. They've got a couple of scratches here and there, which is very common for these. I mean, it's, you know, in the 80s, I believe, is when these were uh, brought forward. But, you know, front panels are really nice. I did get this from the original owner, and um, he just wasn't using them, so... Um, therefore, they're going to be on eBay, and uh, somebody can use this in their collection. I've got some other accessories I will be listing. I've got the monitor scope. I've got this little guy over here, which is not in this auction, but it'll be going on there as well. Uh, I thought I had a microphone, but uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for it. But in any case, there it is, the Heathkit uh, model HW5400 HF transceiver with the matching uh, Heathkit HWA 5400-1 power supply.